Okay, Jeremy here, PorschBreakers.com, Jeeps Unlimited. I am doing this video completely ass backwards, so I apologize. I normally don't do these, and I, I don't break them up. I'm going to. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, this is not morning sun coming up over there. It is uh, it is the sun going away, and it's uh, like 32 degrees right now. So I uh, was trying to wait for a warm up. It did not warm up today, so and I waited and got really busy. My wife did something nice with my birthday today, so um, so she uh, she did something that kind of broke the day up a little bit. But anyway, um, so. Uh, this is a 9702 six cylinder 4.0 frame. You can use them on four cylinders, but you got to change motor mounts. If you need one of those, just call me. Um, this is the video. These are actually going to be two of them because I'm going to have to flip this here in a second. I haven't washed the other side yet. So um, that's why I broke this up a little differently because it's so cold and I'm literally this ground, I kid you not, is freezing as I'm washing. So uh, I'm going to flip this over here in just a second. Let me go through it with you. First and foremost, all the black you see on it is factory paint from this came off of a 98 so uh, a long time ago okay which is remarkable and i always say that in my frame videos uh how clean these frames are anytime you get bare metal that shows up which i just washed this and there's some bare metal right there um this right here will turn into this or this fairly soon so uh, it oxidizes uh, quickly so just because you see some oxide that's not a big deal when you're buying a jeep out there and you're looking at a frame Oxidation metal or oxidized metal is, it's different than, than rust. I mean, it's its not a good thing in a sense. You don't want to have it stay like that and introduce something like salt, which the East Coast guys get. Um, we don't actually use salt on the roads. Part of the reason our frames are so clean out here. Uh, but, it, you know, if you get it coated with paint on it, and we could do that on this frame just to prevent that. Um, it's not going to happen overnight, but definitely don't want to let it go. So any areas you see that have, um, usually areas that are metal on metal, that Jeep didn't put any kind of cushions in between them, uh, it's gonna happen, it's gonna rub the paint off. So don't be alarmed by that. And I'll show you, you can get up close. I, I already scoped this frame. This thing is absolutely gorgeous inside and out. Um, and you know, a lot of people blast them, you can do that. It's not needed on these guys, but I mean, it's still obviously, you know, sandblast powder coats, cool thing. Uh, but it's definitely not needed. So, and then the other thing, so same thing. So get up and close here, right? So this is all bare metal. This is all gonna be brown here. Probably fairly quickly. Flash rust happens pretty quickly. Um, okay, so down through here, you can see, right? So there's nothing scale, anything in through here. Okay, and then all the way back, and I'll show you this area is real common on them to rust out. So I don't obviously wanna show you that area, but I also wanna highlight these guys here. Good threads, nothing broken off. And also, usually, uh, you get a lot of scale buildup in that area because it's metal on metal with that, that lower pan. My fingers are freaking almost blue right now. So, um, so this is the famous area, if you're on the East Coast, that you're going to see most of your rust. Um, this is upside down, so remember that. But this area loves to trap stuff in. They didn't do a great job making cleanouts for these frames. Um, so preventative maintenance washing all the time will help prevent this but you can see all black factory paint look at the coil box it's super clean you got a little bit again oxide metal metal on these guys here um, you know around here but nothing nothing that's flaking up or, or deteriorating uh, I don't know what that is yuck um, nothing that's deteriorating the metal um, or anything like that so get that covered up you can use rust-oleum products uh, those neutralized rust, you know, areas that are starting to get flash rust on them and whatnot. Back here, another area that likes to break off for bolt wise. These are in good shape. Although, even though these are clean, I would I would fix this. There's a fix you can do um, that makes that better. That one is looks like it's already been somebody's fixed it, but the bolt's loose, so you can. Oh shit! I'm falling face here. So yeah. Um, this is probably just gas yeah, floating in there. So there's a T bar. Uh, you can call me about those if you have any questions or if you're in the position you're trying to replace um, the shock bolts on the top you don't know what you're looking at this is a good video to show you this is what you're looking at and those break off they're kind of a dumb design and again there's a fix for them but back to the frame coil spring buckets nice clean on this side once again through here and it's you know it's you can't really video um i like i said i scope them but that is like I, i'm not kidding this, obviously it's upside down but this is absolutely smooth as can be both sides nice and clean in here um control arm mounts again these are this area's got quite a bit of oxidized metal on it but nothing is flaking up we're not deteriorating any metal through here 
um, or not. So uh, back another area that likes to rust is this back um, top of the top of the fuel tank. So these are all areas that are super hidden. If you're looking at a Jeep, you're not going to be able to see these bars. But lots of times, specifically East Coast Jeeps, this area is gone. So I always highlight on our frames this area when they're clean like this because that's not notable. The coil spring buckets, super clean on these guys. Um, what other areas? The the, the mounts uh, for your skid plate, super clean. And then just going through your body mount bushings, you look at these guys, nice perfect circles, nothing wallowed out all the way down. That's what you want to see. Uh, those are your body mounts there your, uh, to your torque pockets. Here's two more. You can't see those ones unless your frame, obviously your frame's out. And then you got your last ones through here, here. Again, both these guys, um, both these guys are nice and clean. Actually, this isn't your, for your frame. This is down in here, but uh, bu bumper bolts here, super important. This guy had a, a hitch on the back of it, this one, and it was pinching, it was pinching here. So bare metal, uh, again, metal on metal, bare metal, oxidized metal, same thing there, okay? That hitch, I think, is laying around here somewhere. Um, and if you need a hitch, I can definitely, but I always pull everything because you never know what's hidden behind something. And I have never had a frame come back. Um, one other thing we're really known for, well, we're known for a lot, but not only are rust free frames, but also we don't buy uh, Jeeps and part out the frames on wrecks. We rarely buy wrecks in general, specifically on TJs. Most of these things, I cannot believe it's icy like it is here. I gotta stop talking. But most of our Jeeps, if not all of them come in, uh, under their own power or like that blue one for example right there um, that had a blown motor but beautiful jeep though beautiful frame that's going to be a nice frame on that one um, okay so that's the bottom so i'm going to take it off on this video i'm going to flip it over and hopefully not run out of time and get this top uh photoed and videoed for you so questions comments concerns 303-666-9020 partsbreakers.com um if you don't know this already, I am leaving on, it's November 30th, my birthday. I am leaving on no later than December 12th. Um, after doctor's appointment I have, I'm heading out east. I'm hoping to go all the way to Maine. I have a load in Maine, but if I don't have anything in between, right now I have several orders in New York, so it's gonna get me at least there and all the way in between several things uh, out there. So if you see this video and you happen to see it, you know, a couple days after I post it, I have 40 foot of gooseneck space and it is going very quickly. I think I'm almost out of tub space. I might have one spot left on that. I definitely have a couple more uh, uh, frames I can throw on there. And then fenders, um, hoods, uh, windshield frames, tailgates, anything like that, definitely keep in mind. Those are expensive items you ship, um, or most of them are, not all of them, but okay. All right, thank you for watching this and stay tuned to part two. That'll be the top side.